garden. And uh, scale of uh, one to difficult, this is like a negative two. So should be able to do this one, even me. So basically just gonna cut this in half. I'm too lazy to get a pen. And it's very important to set the blade depth on your circular saw. <laughs> Good. Pre drilling the wood helps uh, keep it from splitting. So, this is the dullest uh, drill bit probably I could find, too. Helps with you use a sharp drill bit. Try and find somewhere relatively flat. And this isn't uh, expert craftsmanship. You know, this is just going to have to hold some plastic sheeting, so. Alright, we had that set the high torque for some reason. That's why I was going so goddamn slow. <laughs> <laughs> gonna pre-drill this. This makes it go a little, keeps the wood from splitting when you're putting screws in towards the end of a board. We're almost done with the, the hardest part of the project. I picked up some stuff at the hardware store today. I got these hose clamps, uh, number eight clamps. And uh, my plan is to uh, once I to make a dome and then clamp them in the middle, and then I'll show you what these little uh, pipe straps are, how we're going to attach it to the actual frame of the raised bed. So if you have a long bed and not a square bed, you can do this wagon wheel style, which is like this. And then you can make several hoops and connect them together with uh, one going across the top like that. But since mine's a square, I'm going to make a dome like that. And uh, here's a little tip for all you cheap asses. Here's a little tip for all you uh, frugal people. <laughs> the, the, here's a tip for all you uh, penny pinchers out there. The conduit is... Uh, about a dollar cheaper than the same size PVC. So, get the conduit. All right. I'm gonna put this first clamp on. Just loose, just so it's caught. Whoops, this one's in crooked. There we go. Okay. This is the plan, we'll see how this goes. Looks like it might be able to work. So I'm gonna do this. And this is gonna, I'm sure duct tape would work just as well, but since I'm a celebrity now, I wanted to be a little less bootleg. Also duct tape exposed to the elements and that last as well. Right. People might ask about why I'm not using pressure treated lumber well, just because I don't want that crap near my garden. And yes, it won't last as long, and no, I don't care. And that's the basic idea there. By the way, this is um, eight foot, three quarter uh, inch PVC. Now I'm gonna attach these um, pipes to the corner there. Good. Pretty sound. Sound little structure there. It's gonna get her done. 
six mil plastic sheeting. That's the thickest I could find. Can you get that at a uh, hardware store? Yeah, that's where I got it. Cool. I'm just gonna kind of rough out how much I need here. Take your scissors or knife. You don't need tons of staples, just get it get it on. This one side I'm gonna leave open so I can get in and out. I'm going to be working on. Just hold it down with a, a basic squeeze clamp. First chink in the armor. That uh, all right, we move that down. Hopefully, that's gonna not pierce that anymore. Looks like it should be okay now. Hopefully, yours won't have this. Piece of duct tape on the top. Or you knew if I made it, it was gonna have. It's gonna end up with duct tape on it somewhere. Good as new. No. 